can she do it one handed? Thirteen. Do we try for a little more? Fifteen. Woot. All right. In case you didn't know, I'm making my keto coffee. Heavy whipping cream. It's the Meyer brand. Cap on. Just a little more. Woot. It takes a real talent to do this one handed. Close enough. And all of this is used in the blender because my magic bullet decided to explode. doesn't sound so good either. Okay. Yum. Boiling 10 eggs for the week. Two a day at lunchtime. That's the plan. Alright guys, here's my fancy schmancy lunch. It's quarter to one, roughly. Two eggs boiled with mayo and mustard smeared together and they'll be smeared on top of the boiled eggs. Beef bouillon and a big thing of water. And that'll probably be drank over the afternoon. So, yeah, there's lunch. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Gail and this is Real Life and Keto. And it is Monday, May 15th, it is going on 6 o'clock. I got out of work at 5. I closed this week, so I get out at 5-ish, depending on when the patients are done. I'm all wrinkly here. Um, <laughs> anyway, I came home to dog messes. My husband took um, <clears throat> a second part-time job. Excuse me, I'm choking. I will be registering this on my fitness pal. It is Diet Coke and about just shy of two ounces of rum. Yeah. Came home to a ginormous puddle in the middle of the kitchen. Maggie, do you want a bath? She didn't like baths. And also evidence of Rocky lifting his leg on my silverware drawers and if you've seen my kitchen I have like a plastic rack or um the drawers fell out of the cupboards a long time ago and I haven't ever rebuilt them or anything so we have a plastic rack that has our silverware and our utensils it's a one of those 
like the Rubbermaid kind of deals with the drawers, the pull-out drawers. And if you see my videos, you'll see me. I'm, it's right there in my kitchen. But anyway, it looks like Rocky lifted his leg, and I can't tell for sure if he got it inside the bottom drawer. So the bottom drawer is soaking, full of soapy water, dish, you know, dishwashing liquid, and in the bathtub. And I will have to wash all of those utensils and wash that drawer and. I had to mop the kitchen floor and clean up the masses as soon as I walked in the door and let the dogs out. Well, as I started to say, my husband got a new job, new part-time job. My dad's mowing the lawn, I don't know if you can hear it. Or he's running the mower and fertilizing. You may be coming back by, I may have to pause this. I'm gonna pause it. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Maggie, you're gonna get a bath? <laughs> Anyway, I just talked to my dad. He pulled up with the lawnmower. He was putting down seed and fertilizer on his property, which is over there. And um, and for the lay of the land, my sister's right there. And my dad's work pole barn is right there. My house is right there. <sighs> okay, where was I? Anyway, so I had a mess to clean up and I have uh, so we're soaking in the bathtub in the drawer that I need everything needs to come out and get clean so I can put it back together again and hubby he started a new part-time job where he actually left for work before I did this morning I had to leave at 8 to be to work by 8 30 give myself plenty of time I was actually like a minute or two late and <laughs> you can hear my sister anyway um so I did some videos of what I made for breakfast this morning. I took a little video of my lunch. And um, I have those uh, shirataki spaghetti noodles, the zero pasta spaghetti noodles. I rinse those and they're draining right now. I have a pork chop left over from yesterday. What I'm gonna try to do is um, with the shirataki noodles, they're, they're draining so that I wanna dry them off a little bit. And then I'm gonna pan heat them up in a in a nonstick skillet with no nothing no oil no fat or anything like that and then I have a bouillon that I um, cooked down in like half a cup of water maybe half a cup maybe two, a third of a cup I don't know anyway I just put some water in a cup and put a bouillon chicken bouillon cube in it and cook that down so that after I get the noodles dried out in the in the fry pan then I think I'm gonna add the bouillon to it. And I just wanna taste it to see if it makes me think of like, I liked ramen noodle. Terrible for you, I know, I know. But if the shirataki spaghetti noodles were like ramen with the, with the you know, chicken bouillon, that would be awesome. Cause like, I like, I really liked ramen noodles. <laughs> so anyway, um, but I'm going to see how that tastes and then probably add some Alfredo sauce to it and have my pork chop, heat up my pork chop. And I'll take a picture and show that after the video or after the video, whichever way this goes. So um, up to this point, you would have seen my morning and my lunch and I'll show you my dinner. And, and then after my dinner, I will give you the macros for the day. And it's been an okay day. You know, Mondays are... You know, when you work with people, there it. Sorry, God, bugs are trying to get me. Um, you tend to notice patterns with um, how the day goes or trend of the day, and people were very impatient today, very high maintenance, very like why didn't they have it yesterday kind of stuff. And and you know that's not how things work. But you know a lot of people seem to think that they're the only patient the doctor has. It was just, it was just mind blowing that Rocky Hush, that more than one patient was like, well, I called half an hour ago. Why isn't this done? I'm like, they're in a room with a patient. They're seeing patients. No, we can't just stop and drop everything that they're doing. They will attend to this message that I sent them that you, you know, called in when they're not seeing patients. So, I don't know, it's just funny. So I was losing my patience at paid bills, <laughs> impatience, but I was trying to be, you know, polite and helpful and all that stuff. But yeah, so 
Hopefully tomorrow is a better day with the dogs. I, my husband has to go back to this other side job in the morning before he goes to his second shift job in the afternoon. So he's going to be very tired when he gets home tonight because he worked, I think he said five hours. And then, then he's working his regular eight hour shift. Then he's going to come home and go to bed and get up in the morning and do it all again. So yeah, he'll be, he'll be tired. And he's, if you know my husband, which most of you don't, of course, but if you know him, he is not a happy camper when he's tired. He's crabby. Patty. I mean, it's like he turns into a giant two-year-old. And he'll be the first one to admit it. So I'm not saying anything like, you know, that he wouldn't admit. So yeah, that's his thing. You know, some people get really ornery if they're hungry. And then he gets kind of ornery if he's tired. So hopefully, I'm hoping like maybe they'll just have work for him. Since it's a part-time gig, I'm hoping, hoping that it's like just today and tomorrow. And then he won't have to the rest of the week. No, he he can kind of regroup a little bit and not be... I hope it's not like every day of the week because he'll be he'll be seriously tired if he has to do that every single day but um i was kind of excited i got my new paypal card in the mail today so that's exciting and i've already booked two um clients that's exciting super excited about that i'm super pumped about helping people and I did have to change my pricing. It, the pricing that I had set up on my website didn't work with the parameters that they had. Like in my mind, I'm thinking you could book five hours, but you could break them up. But it didn't, it didn't, at least I don't know how to break it up so that you could do that. So I ended up changing my pricing parameters to um, a 30 minute phone call for $10 or an hour phone call, which we can break up over a week plus email support and um, and I'm, I'm definitely willing to work with with whoever if you want to book a month's worth you can book you know your uh, book five of the half hour phone conversations throughout the month and and we'll we'll tweak it to fit your schedule and whatnot and um, there'll still be email support so I'm just looking at like 50 bucks for a month and then and if anybody wants more than that, we'll just go from there. Um, the the one gal who booked a month, I, I just told her, go ahead and book two one hour appointments and a half an hour appointment. That's $50 and, and we'll just, we'll spread it out. You know, I'll put in the appointment times in the calendar so it blocks so somebody else doesn't try to schedule at the same time. But yeah, I'm really willing to work with you. Um, and you know, if you go to my website, you can look at my calendar and see when I'm available. I have blocked a couple of weekends, like this Saturday, I have to work at my regular job. And um, the second weekend in June, my best friend and I are having a girls getaway weekend. I had mentioned this before, this is really long, I'm super sorry. I had mentioned this before that we were gonna go down to Frankenmuth and Bridgeport. And um, circumstances just don't allow for that right now. We've had um, a couple of financial situations occur that that um, I just, I, we're having a staycation and um, my dad is planning on being out of town that weekend. So she and I are going to camp out at his place and you know, and that way it'll be just us two girls and hubby can stay at our place and do his thing for the weekend. And we can still go shopping in Traverse City and, and hopefully get some good clothing hauls and, or you know, fines or whatnot, but um, it'll be more cost effective to not have to spend money on hotel room and that kind of stuff. And you know, then we can, we can spend money on more fun stuff. So, and my, my folks' place is a nice place. So, you know, it's, it's a nice place to chill out and relax and it's right over there. <laughs> so anyway, um, like I said, you'll see my dinner to follow and my macros and I will be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you hung in there for the whole, it'll be 10 plus minutes, of course, with the other videos, but thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and keto on.